Welcome to Med Madness Podcast, where we delve into the intricacies of medical conditions and their management. Today we're discussing a crucial topic for expectant mothers and healthcare providers alike, the differences between true labour and false labour. Contractions during pregnancy can arise from both benign and serious conditions, necessitating careful evaluation for all patients experiencing them, regardless of gestational age. Understanding the distinction between true labour and false labour, also known as Braxton Hicks contractions, is essential for appropriate management. Let's start with true labour. True labour is marked by regular painful contractions that progressively increase in frequency and duration. These contractions lead to significant cervical changes such as dilation and effacement. It's common for true labour to be accompanied by other symptoms, including vaginal bleeding or leakage of fluid. These indicators are essential in determining whether a patient is indeed in labour. In the clinical setting, fetal monitoring is typically conducted using a non-stress test. This test evaluates the fetal acid base status and assesses the risk for fetal hypoxemia. A reactive non-stress test characterised by moderate variability and accelerations is a reassuring sign that the foetus is not in distress. Now let's contrast this with false labour. False labour involves mild, irregular contractions that do not result in any cervical changes. These contractions are often inconsistent in frequency and duration and are usually not painful, more of a discomfort. Unlike true labour, false labour does not cause vaginal bleeding or leakage of fluid. Patients experiencing false labour typically undergo a non-stress test as well. If the test is reactive, indicating moderate variability and accelerations, it suggests that the foetus is not in distress and no additional immediate evaluation is necessary. Patients with false labour can be safely discharged home with labour precautions. These precautions include monitoring for regular painful contractions, rupture of membranes or decreased fetal movements. It's crucial for patients to understand these signs so they can seek appropriate care when necessary. Considering the risk factors for preterm labour, such as advanced maternal age or iron deficiency anemia, it's even more important to distinguish between true and false labour. Proper identification ensures that patients in true labour receive the necessary medical attention, while those in false labour can avoid unnecessary interventions and be reassured. Now let's bring these concepts to life with a real case study. Imagine a 32-year-old woman at 34 weeks gestation who arrives at the labour and delivery unit with complaints of contractions. She has a history of iron deficiency anemia and is concerned about preterm labour, Upon evaluation, her contractions are found to be irregular and mild. The cervical examination reveals no dilation or effacement. A non-stress test is performed, showing a reactive result with moderate variability and accelerations. Given these findings, the diagnosis of false labour is made. The patient is reassured, educated about labour precautions, and discharged home with instructions to return if she experiences regular painful contractions, rupture of membranes or decreased fetal movements. In summary, understanding the differences between true and false labour is vital for the appropriate management of pregnant patients experiencing contractions. True labour involves regular painful contractions that cause cervical changes and may be accompanied by other symptoms such as vaginal bleeding or leakage of fluid. In contrast, False labour consists of mild, irregular contractions without cervical changes and typically resolves without intervention. Patients with false labour can be discharged with labour precautions and reassured that their contractions will likely resolve on their own. Thank you for tuning in to Med Madness podcast. We hope this discussion helps clarify the important distinctions between true and false labour. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to reach out. Until next time, stay informed and stay healthy.